Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring the Runecairn Warden Saga role-playing game. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review featuring this RPG inspired by Dark Souls, please check out the playlist in the description below. This role-playing game can be played as a cooperative, solo or even competitive experience. This time I am going to talk about the included scenario, the introductory adventure and the appendices. I am also going to give you my final thoughts on this RPG. The included adventure is called Beneath the Broken Sword, and I'm going to avoid spoilers because this adventure can be played as a solo adventure. That is, you can play it as a traditional adventure or you can use the oracle system included in this rulebook to play it as a solo experience and that's great. Okay, so I'm going to read a bit of this adventure to you avoiding those uh, plot twists, the secrets, etc., so that you can discover things along the way. In a long forgotten age, a raging war shattered and devastated the worlds of gods and men. Now green life blooms amidst the ruins. Wondrous and terrible beings roam the nine realms. Civilization stumbles forward, fresh and reaching. Fate carves the sky anew, but there are loose threads lost long ago in the wars, with no place in the tapestry. These threads must seek the fire within and carve their own path. You wake in an echoing cave, lit by a waning bonfire, with little memory of who you are or how you arrived here. You wear your armor but carry no weapons or items. You must navigate the cave of echoes, retrieve your weapons and items, Acquire your mid flask and overcome the many dangers within. This adventure really harkens to the Dark Souls experience. There is very mm. little information to go on. Clever play is rewarded. If you try to go all crazy and just take on everything with brute force, you are going to end up dying and your character will have to respawn and the enemies that you defeated are going to respawn as well. There is a good combination of exploration, social interaction, and combat. And I would say that for an introductory adventure, this scenario can be a bit difficult. So it's going to be quite common that your character ends up dying during the first attempt. So it's a really good adventure, pretty faithful to the source material in a tribute or inspirational way. I think you are going to enjoy it quite a bit. Then we move on to the appendices, starting with the monsters. I am going to read a bit of the entries without spoiling things. You have creatures such as the cultist. Fanatical zeal burns behind the eyes of this man. There's also the dragor. Death blue corpse driven by hatred for the living. Eyes burn with red malice. There is also the lindworm. Enormous serpent the length of a river with two powerful four legs. We also have the Shade, hollow dead devoid of humanity, a shadow of the person that was. There is also the Stone Demon, hulking humanoid shape, rocky and pitted flesh bloated and deformed. And these are just some of the many monsters included in this RPG. Then we have tables, lots of them. Some of them cover names. Perhaps your player character is called Astrid, or maybe Emil, or Thorsten. You also have a table to determine physique. Maybe your character is brawny, towering, or lanky. Another table determines your skin. Maybe you have pockmarked skin, or maybe it's smooth, or scarred. You can also determine your hair. Maybe you have curly hair, or wavy. Perhaps frizzy. You can determine your face. Maybe you have a chiseled face, or a bony face, or a sunken face. You can determine your speech. Maybe you have cryptic speech, or maybe you have a whispery voice, or you are quite precise in your words. You can also determine your virtue. Maybe you are humble or honorable, perhaps courageous. You can also determine your vices. Perhaps you are bitter, maybe vain, or greedy. And you also have a pronunciation guide 
for the Icelandic inspired words in this role playing game. Now what do I think of Runkairn Varden Saga? I think this is the best solo Dark Souls inspired role playing game currently available. And it's also amazing when you play it in a standard way with one game master and one player character. And with the variations of having other players join as your allies or as the enemies of the player character, that is truly great and within the source material that is within the Dark Souls style. However, as I said in that specific part of the review, you really need to further flesh out or polish the subsystems for that. They are about, I would say, 60 or 80% complete, but you need to work out the kinks or tweak things a bit so that the subsystem feels a bit more integrated or balanced with the whole experience. Character creation in this role-playing game is very simple to understand. Gameplay is fast, be it in task resolution or specifically in combat. With that Dark Souls style mechanic of fatigue, you need to put some thought on your strategies and tactics when carrying out battle. The magic system is also quite reminiscent of Dark Souls. The game as a whole still feels original and unique when it comes to the whole Norse saga inspired metaplot and the storyline, the background. The advanced rules are very easy to integrate as you understand how to play the game. The included scenario is perfect presenting an introductory but challenging experience. The appendices including the monsters, the many tables, adventurer options and such. This is truly a complete role-playing game. It fits so many things into an 88-page document. So my highest recommendation for Runkarn Warden Saga. Thank you for watching this review. And thank you for your likes and your comments. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thank you so much to those that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. Once again, thank you and see you later.